And so we need to go all the way back because I'm, I do the, the level in order of the way that they appear in the home world. Apart from in the artisan's home world, I didn't really do it then, I just kind of went in a wrap. Oh, yes! Yeah, that's, that's what I meant to do. Um, okay. Let's get these weird. I don't even know what they are. Headless chickens? What are they? What actually are they? That's, they're disgusting, that's what they are. Um, first level Terrace Village. Uh, I think it was a good level. I think it's a good level. It might not be a good level. Ooh, music. He's got a thing. There we go. Kill him quickly. He can't do anything to you if you kill them quickly. Like this guy, kill him quickly. It's lovely that we're killing all these guys, so isn't that? No blood or gore, though. Which is an interesting fact, actually. Um, before um, Skylanders was announced, they what they were originally planning to do was a game which was supposed to be, which they claimed was going to be similar to the original uh, Spyro games, I believe, but it was going to be for older audiences. So there's going to be a lot more blood and gore and that kind of thing. Uh, blood and gore and a Spyro game, that doesn't seem to fit very well. Kind of probably why they went towards Skylanders, unfortunately. I, I would have been alright with a, a blood and gore game, but I'm sure they, they wanted to stick with their child audience. I don't know why. Made a bad decision, but still, not Insomniac making this decision. Is it? They've stopped. They've stopped with Spyro. They made the clever decision to stop with Spyro. Because they get money, because they got to sell him. Because they got to sell. Oh, great! Right, you know what? I am pro at this. Um, Because they got to sell them, they get first of all get a load of money, and they don't get they they also don't run the risk of accidentally making another game that was really unsuccessful. Because they, they, they the reason they sold them was obviously not only to get money, but also because they couldn't think of how they were going to continue it. There we go. That's that guy taken care of. Okay, we need to find a dragon and fast so that we can checkpoint. So that we can check our points. I wonder why it's called a checkpoint. Hmm. The point word makes sense. But I just wonder why it's checkpoint. Is it like, oh yes, you've got to this place. It's ticked off the list. It's been checked. Grab you. Next dragon! Claude! Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity. Mm -hmm. And it really stings. Don't worry, you're not gonna die, but it really stings. Yeah, there's a there's a crudge ton of fireworks in this place. That is that is how you take care of those enemies. You just jump and then charge and go straight down into them. That's how you do it. It's the official way to do it. Except if they're right by a cliff, then you just do a normal charge. He didn't seem to be hurt by it though. There we go, that's that taken care of. Let's get back to the checkpoint. 
because we're just that's just the way we roll. Is there something there? I don't know, I thought we could go inside that building for some reason. See? Official way. The official way. How it's done. Um. The hell? Oh! No, that was just cruel. This is gonna get annoying. Okay, let's get this dragon. Very quickly. Sight print. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. Mm hmm. 50. That's a milestone. Oh, I don't want to stop. Come on. Can die. Thanks. Okay, let's grab you and let's grab you. Okay, come on. Grab the stuff for us, please. And the trick is that you constantly electrocute the place because then, then Spyro can't get across at all. You no, know, just an idea. Probably shouldn't be given ideas though. Mm. Ooh, such small space. Well, that's them taken care of. Now up. Wow, that was, you know, it probably would have been a better decision for them if they were to choose a place like that, where it, it, going up the whirlwind means it's inevitable that I'm going to land on one of those places. They could have chose one of those places, places which I pretty much have to go to place their evil trap. Of evilness. Somehow missed that gem. That, that was a two gem as well, and we know how much I love two gem. Okay, let's. Okay. Oh, interesting. Ooh! I made an interesting noise as well, for some reason. Yay! Okay, more gems. More! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh. Don't realize like anything over there. Um. I mean, there's a lot of rockets around here. I think that's everything. We go down here. Grab these guys, and now let's go over here. 
And that's all the gem. Okay, is that is that everything? That's that's all the things. Good. Okay, next place then. Not gonna get annoying at all. Okay. Proper glide, don't charge. Six thousand two hundred. I think it's ten thousand gems in the game. Might be fifteen thousand. No, I think there's five thousand. Mm, not gonna say any more. Okay, we totally just missed that. Even though we probably need them. Let's go into Misty Bog. <sighs> Let's try that again. Okay. Try it again. There we go. Bounce off the portal, or bounce off the frame, bounce off the portal, then we go in. Third time's the charm. Oh no, that means in this level we're gonna no longer have 50. Ooh. That's interesting. Oh great, something's happening on my computer. Hang on a sec. Okay, that's taken care of. Um, see, you've just got to jump. Makes these guys easy. Yeah, this music is actually very similar to the credits music in all three Spyro games, surprisingly. Take care of these foggy things. They could hide extra lives in places that aren't with gems, because you had to go there anyway. It should make extra lives more of a rarity, more of a secret. Like like little places where they hide three lives, just like in the ice caverns and in Spyro 3 and Bin Back Mountain Zone. Home is back. Of course, you can't actually get to those three in Midnight Man's Pride, so. As I said, they should probably make extra lives more of a rarity than hiding them out. Well, not even hiding them, really. I'm not opposed, I'm not, you know, objecting to the fact that they're putting them everywhere, though. Especially at the rate that we're losing lives. Roscoe. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Yes, as people have said before, I don't see how a swamp can be so nice. I'm quite honest. Um, go over here first, I guess. The enemies are chasing the enemies. I just saved your life, and how do you re repay me? You slash me in the face with a sword. That's what you do. These guys, there's a very interesting sound effects. Not overused at all. Oh no, it's the attack frogs! Oh, they are actually hurting us, though. Damn. That's some powerful shiz. It is. It is powerful. You know what? Nah. Speak to this guy. Hello, Damon. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. No, no. Why? I remember. Uh, gotta go. 
Right. Uh, at the checkpoint. What the hell just happened? Well, we got six lives now for some reason, but. Sure, whatevs. <laughs> just overkill all these toads and everything. So many enemies. Too many, in fact. I think that's everything over there. Right, there. Can't be. It can't be because now we've got no way of getting back. Probably got to glide to some some place. Where? Where must we glide to? There, maybe? That was actually retarded. That was actually retarded. I bumped into nothing. Oh, great, all those enemies are back. Take that checkpoint. Oh my god. Okay. Let's continue that quest. Thank you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A lot of red gems here. Bush people things aren't that actually that hard to kill. They're not bush people, I don't know why I said people, just they're 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 massive great big bushes with mouths that try and kill you. Hello. Zeke. Thank you for releasing me. Quite a lot of large dragons in this place. Mmm, let's kill you, let's kill you, let's kill you. No, you do not kill me. Come on. Okay. Where next? Let's get this guy. We fun. No, I'm gonna. Okay. Stuff over here. This place is just like a weird remix of the credits, unless the credits is a weird remix of this. Don't know why they chose this level in particular though, because this is a. Well, there's nothing special about this level really. Go. Good, that looks like all the enemies taken care of. I do believe there are some more. Hello, Bubba. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squad them! <laughs> uh huh. How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons after all. Oh, of course. It's going to get us a little bit annoying. Come on. 
Okay, come on. Do this, please, with no fail. With no fail, please, please, no fail. No fail, please. No fail, please! Ooh. Ooh. There we go, that looks like all the enemies now taken a care taken a now taken a care of. That's that's not how you pronounce taken care of. Taken care of. Not taken a care of. Taken a is not a word. Good, is that all the gems? Oh yay! Oh yay! We've done it! We've done it! We've done it! We did it! Correct our grammar. We did it. We did it. We did. Oh. Okay. Well, at least that was a quick way of getting over here. Oh dear. Oh dear. I think you all know what is happening next episode. Well, I've played the game, you know what's happening next episode. So, next episode, I'm going to go into the worst level ever. Um, after I go into the speed flight place. So see you on the next episode. Goodbye.